the word kaya in Malay has two meanings. It can mean rich or wealthy, or it can refer to a coconut and pandan jam that's well loved by Malaysians. So in this video, we're going to talk about kaya and different ways to use it in your recipes. But first of all, what is kaya and how do you prepare it? Okay, now kaya is made using a combination of coconut cream, pandan flavor, eggs, and sugar. And making kaya at home properly can be a laborious and time-consuming exercise. Back in the old days, you would cook it in a double boiler and stand over the stove for hours, stirring the mixture until it thickens into a custody consistency. Nowadays here in Australia, you can find lots and lots of jars of Malaysian kaya in Asian grocery stores. And next time you go shopping, make sure you keep your eyes peeled for the different varieties of kaya you can find. A kaya can look like a rich caramel color, or it can be a light green color or anything in between. Now, uh, some might be labeled variously as Sri Kaya, or Nyonya Kaya, Malacca Kaya, Hainanese Kaya, Pandan Kaya, or simply just coconut spread. If they're made in Malaysia and they contain the ingredients I mentioned, they're Kaya. How do you use Kaya? Now, in Malaysia, it's most typically served with toast, hence Kaya toast. But when I first started trading here in Sydney, Australia, I used to serve kaya spread on Malaysian roti chanai, flaky flat bread. So much so that a lot of my customers for the longest time thought that was the only way to use kaya. But here are some suggestions to get you going. Burnt cheesecake, now this is all the rage these days. Everybody loves making burnt cheesecake because it's pretty easy to whip up, right? So uh, you want some cream cheese, eggs, egg yolk, sugar, cream and flour, whisk it, and then divide it into two portions. Transfer the first portion into a baking tin, stir kaya into the second portion and create a streaky effect before you pour it over the first and then bake it in the oven at 200 degrees Celsius for about 10 minutes and then turn down the heat and bake it a little bit longer until it's set and there you go, a delicious burnt cheesecake with a kaya twist. Croissant with kaya. Now, uh, you're going to find that French pastries work really, really well with kaya. Uh, I used to love eating croissant when I first discovered croissant having moved to Australia back in the early 80s. Um, I would cut the croissant in half, toast it or warm it up, and then spread it with a little bit of butter and a thick, generous layer of kaya. It's delicious. Try it. French toast. So to make French toast, you want to beat up an egg with milk, spread a thick layer of butter on a piece of bread, spread another uh, slice of bread with lots of kaya, bring them together, dunk them in the egg, and then fry them up in a pan with butter. Then you can serve the French toast on its own or sprinkled with icing sugar. It's delicious. Kaya shake. Next time you feel like something cold and summery, why not make up a milkshake with some ice cream and milk and some kaya in it, whisk it up and serve it up in a glass. You can add an extra scoop of ice cream into it if you like or an extra streak of kaya and there you go, delicious. Kaya toast. Now, like I said, this is the most popular way to use kaya in Malaysia. To make it yourself at home, just toast two slices of bread, place a thick slice of butter on one, and spread lots of kaya on the other. Kaya toast in Malaysia is usually served with the crust off, but it's up to you whether you want to leave it on. Either way, it's delicious in my opinion.
entire pie. Now I'm using short crust pastry here, but puff pastry would work just as well. First, a beat up an egg to use as egg wash. And then you want to cut the softened dough sheet into nine squares. Place some kaya in the middle of each, fold it in half, either in rectangular or triangular shapes. Pinch the edges with a fork and brush with egg wash. And then just bake it in the oven according to the pastry packet instructions. And there you go, a very quick and easy snack anyone can prepare at home. Peanut butter and jam sandwich. Now everybody loves peanut butter and jam sandwiches, right? Uh, try using kaya in lieu of jam next time. It's delicious and it just adds an exotic Malaysian touch to your typical peanut butter and jam. Kaya steamed buns or bao. To make the uh, bao, you want to combine low gluten flour, yeast, salt, sugar, oil and water in a dough mixer and then knead it into a soft dough. Transfer into a bowl and cover until it's doubled in size. Divide the dough into small portions. Roll into rounds, fill with kaya and seal. Place on squares of baking paper and then steam in your steamer for about 10 to 15 minutes until it's done. So there you go, it's just some quick and simple suggestions on how to use kaya in your favorite recipes. If you've got any other suggestions, I'd love to hear them. So make sure you comment in this post or tag me on social media and show me some of your kaya creations. Until next time, I'm Jackie M for Malaysian Ingredients Made Easy.